spied on Peter Obi, stole his mandate. This will continue to haunt you, Tinubu Lawa reveals. Hello, my wonderful people. It is happening. Um, Lawa has been speaking. Baba Chia Lawa has been speaking in terms of some of the things that have been going on. And he has said it that, you know, uh, INEC and Tinubu, they know very well, according to him from the onset, that uh, Tinubu will not win. And so they changed, according to him, Peter Obi's mandate. He says so they lied on Tino, uh, Peter Obi. And that's why it will continue to haunt him. Okay, he said it will continue to haunt Tinobu. Said all that is happening to Tinobu now, the whole um, you know, uh, 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 you know, certificate being revealed. It has been there before now, but everything coming up on board, he said, is just a clear indication that you know of the of what Tinobu will face as a result of what he did. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. You lied on Peter Ubi. You took what belongs to him. This will continue to haunt you. The All Progressive Congress has been coming hard on Lawa and lambasting the former secretary of the government of the Federation, Babache Lawa, who says that Peter will be defend, defeated Tinubu in the 2023 presidential polls. He has come under serious scrutiny as APC continues to throw missiles at him, asking him to provide the evidence. The outspoken Lawa had on Tuesday said in Abuja that will be who fled, who, uh, who was the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, actually won the presidential election in the last polls. He said the February 25 election, presidential election, was not won by President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. He said Tinubu only took that which belongs to Peter Obi, and that is why the nemesis is coming hard on him. All that has happened is a revelation of what has is a revelation of what Tinubu has brought on himself. He will not go scot free. I can assure you. In a statement signed by Felix Moka, the National Publicity Secretary of the All Progressive Congress, the party said that the former SGF is paddling is paddling is paddling opportunity to open his rat on Tinubu for being ignored and not being acknowledged in Tinubu's administration. Rather than learn to politically make amends, he's standing on the side of defeat. It is clear that Peter will be who he thought will win so that he can continue to be in the corridors of power has been defeated. So he's seriously afraid. And this is why he wants to cause another round of confusion. What is going on with President Bola Ahmed Tinubu? It has nothing to do with Peter Obi. There was no certificate forgery, and that has been cleared by the BBC. Is the BBC the court? It has been cleared by BBC, who investigated the matter and has come to tell Nigerians that Peter Obi, Tinubu, or Atiku, none of them have opportunity to accuse one another. What Atiku has done going to America was just to cause Nigeria a lot of pain and shame. He has done it to himself, not to anyone else, not to the president. And the truth of it is that Atiku has just disgraced himself, not Tinubu. Tinubu has been shown by BBC after carrying out their own investigation that the Chicago State University did not say he did not attend their university. He did attend. So, whatever Peter will be and Atiku are piling up or planning will never come to pass. Baba Che is only angry because he has been rejected and the person he thought will win did not win. So, this is what is happening right about now, my lovely, wonderful people. And you can see that um, the matter is becoming a real serious one um, as APC is... You know, coming hard on Baba Che. Baba Che is also coming hard on them, saying, you guys have been defeated. You do not know what you are aiming for or what you are after. It is clear that um, you guys do not know yourselves. If you know yourself very well, you would have taken a better route from where you are doing right now. What you're doing right now clearly shows that you don't even understand the parameters of what is happening. Well, my lovely, wonderful people, it is important that we all pay attention to some of these things and we understand where we are coming from where we are going and what we are getting at because right about now you can see for yourself that uh, nigerians we are in that place where we cannot afford 
to leave our hands, ourselves in the hands of those who want to destroy this country because they feel they have the power to do so. Every single one of us must arise and ensure that the truth is being dispensed. No matter what happened, we have a part to play and so we must continue earnestly, sincerely, truly to speak out for what is right. Um, Baba Che says that, uh, you know, stealing Peter Obi's mandate is what is haunting Tinubu. Is that true? I don't know. He said, but, you know, the party will know exactly, you know, what has befallen them if they continue to do what they do. That, that's why, you know, they are currently in the current uh, state that they are in. That's because of the decision they took. Apparently, he said, uh, Tinubu knew from the very start that he did not, uh, that he did not, Win, he will not win. So he did all he possibly could do. Okay, he did all he could to ensure that he took over, you know, and lead, you know, and win. So, but the truth of the matter is, he did not actually win. According to Babache, he said the person who won the election was actually Peter Obi. He said Atiku was second and Tinubu came in distant third, you know, according to him. So, if we want the truth to be revealed, and we want Nigeria to be a better place. Every single person will have to rise up and ensure that the right thing is done. Okay? We need to do what is needed and what is necessary to change the course of the nation and put us right in the right, you know, right position so that together we can make a lot of difference. We cannot continue, you know, with what is going on now and expect that things will suddenly fall in place. Nigerians, we all need, you know, this nation to rise up we need everybody we, we need we need we need clarity in some of these issues that are going on we sincerely do we really, really do need clarity you know there are people who want to use everything humanly speaking possible to ensure that um, they take over the affairs of this nation and it's not if they're even doing it in the correct way okay if they feel they have the the opportunity for leadership and they are doing it well that's a different case altogether but guess what that's not what they are doing that's not even the line they are tolling. You know, that's not even the line they are tolling. What they are doing is quite different. You know, they feel that they, they owe, everybody owes it, you know, they owe the people and all the people owe them. And so the people must do their bleed, bidding. You know, it's sad, but that's what's going on. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. Remember that every single one of us must continue to speak out and end every abnormalities going on so that we can move forward as a nation. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. From us, it's bye for now. Bye-bye.